So hey, how you doing? Um, I ain't done one of these for a while, Pixelmator tutorial. But yeah, anyway, it's gonna be a Pixelmator tutorial. There was recently a, a, a another Pixelmator update, and it was 2.2.1, I think it was. Um, and they've changed a few things. Mainly, they've changed the effect browser and the previews on the effect browser. If you look, you know, look, if you look at the, the little tile on the effect browser, if, if you can see there, I'll, I'll zoom in on the actual video, so hopefully you'll be able to see that page curl, cool, which is um, quite cool. And the pinch, you know, it, it just gives you better previews um, and it's it's quicker. And, and you know, there's a few things, but um, if you look at the update notes, you'll you'll easily find out what it's, what it's done. But yeah, anyway, one of the things that has changed is the way that you do outlines and that you refine selections. Um, and I am going to show, I don't know, I'm not too sure why they've done this, but it's, it's, um, it's strange. I understand why they've done it and I can see how they've done it. Um, I just didn't see what was wrong with the old way, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I'm just going to take this um, canvas and I've just got a blank canvas there and I'm going to fill it with a, um, with a dark colour just for emphasis. Yeah, so I filled it with a dark colour and I'm going to go and make some um, text and I am going to call it let's not have it all in capitals let's make it look a bit cool it's quite a nice font font this it's called um oh pifico oh pifico and um, there's no one fonts.com i'll put that in the description below and i'm going to center it up so yeah so what i would do if i wanted to refine a selection or create an outline before what i would do i would go to my text layer I highlight my text layer and then command left click on the tile of my text layer and it would select the outline of the text that I've got selected. I would then go edit and refine selection. And you'll notice that it's greyed out. So um, what you have to do is select the layer below it. So I'm just gonna select my background layer, okay? And then I'm going to go edit and refine selection from here. So I'm then, I've got it on 6% at the moment and I'm gonna click okay with that 6%, I'm happy with that. I'm then gonna create a new layer. And let's say for instance, I wanted to paint bucket tool paint bucket tool i want to fill it with a color i'm going to paint bucket tool i'm going to go and select my color um, yes i'm going to select my color i'm going to click on the paint bucket i'm then going to press command d to deselect so i've got the outline selected and if i wanted i could even turn this one off um, so i just got that color um, so that's an outline that's the way you refine selections so I'm just going to show you a couple of more ways or a couple of more things that you can do with this, this refined selection and I'm going to keep doing it back from the start so it shows you exactly how I do it every time so I'm going to delete my second layer now with this um, text I'm going to make this text I'm going to make it um, I'm not going to make it anything look I'm not doing that. I'm going to go to my selection tool I'm going to select my text and I'm going to make it black so you can't see it then what I'm going to do I'm going to do Command left click on my um, on my tile on the actual place map tile there. Highlight my layer. Go edit, refine selection. I'm just going to make it two percent. Click OK. Plus to create a new layer in between. Paint bucket tool. White and this is click on the um, on on the outline. Command D to deselect. And this is quite a nice effect as well. So now I've just got the outline. So if I turn this off, it would be white, of course. So you want it to turn on. And what I would generally do with these two layers is command left click, highlight them both, and either group the layers or merge the layers. That way, if I merge the layers, I can I've got one layer and I can move it as I as I wanna. Okay. Um, so that's what I would generally do. I would merge the layers. So if, Command Z to or Command Z to undo my last action, so I can unmerge the layer, so I can show you some more um, examples of what I want to do. So I'm going to delete layer two again. I'm going to go Command left click on my text layer, highlight my background layer, edit, refine selection. I'm going to go um, eight percent on this one, just just for demonstration purposes. Click OK, select a new layer, and this time I'm going to choose a gradient. So I'm going to go over here to my gradients tab. And I'm going to choose this blue gradient here. And I'm going to click select. And then with my second layer or my new layer selected, I'm just going to drag across on my layers like this. Command D to deselect. And then select them both. Um, and that is really simple on how to do outlines. You can do clipping masks as well, but I've already shown you in a previous video. So I don't, don't want to go and repeat myself. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or you have any dramas with anything that they've done in 2.2.1, give me a shout and I'll, um, I'll try and work it out for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you all later.